And after lowering the interest rates for the first time since the peak of the pandemic in 2020, the Israeli Central Bank issued a warning. The Central Bank said that the government's fiscal response to the Hamas war runs the danger of increasing national debt and that may obstruct further monetary easing in the country. The Monetary Committee on Monday ended a pause in place since July and lowered its key rate to 4.5% from 4.75% as predicted by most economists. Markets are betting rates will fall below 3.4% by the end of 2024. According to an updated view from the research division of the central bank, Israel is expected to run a larger budget deficit than anticipated in November. The predicted budgetary cost of the war have also been revised upward to around 210 billion shekels, which is around $58 billion. Governor Amir Yaron calling for adjustments that cut back expenditure and also boost income said, that a risky fiscal policy can affect rate decisions moving forward. He added that if the markets perceive that Israel is moving towards a prolonged path of rising debt, it's likely to lead to increased yields, depreciation and inflation, such that a higher central bank interest rate will be required. And this decision signals priorities are starting to shift in favor of supporting the economy after an effort by policymakers to steady markets following the attack by Hamas on October 7th. The focus has changed with a slowdown in inflation and local assets recouping their losses. The shekel staged the world's biggest rally versus the dollar in the past two months, gaining over 12%. But the difference is uh, with the government may prove critical to what happens next as officials reshape the budget during wartime.